Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms, the Fates Divided DLC as Ma Tung. So in the previous episode, we defeated Tao Shuang's army here. He was under command of uh, Yuan Tan. Uh, Tao Shuang then joined us, and he's on assignment making food uh, back in Anding. And of course, Gong Shen Zan joined us as well, which is just magnificent. Now, both of them are rank four. They're not going to be particularly happy having nothing doing, but I'm hoping that we'll start to progress um, quite quickly now that we've got some space to grow into. We're going to take out uh, in the next turn Xie Xian and then we're going to move up to Jingxing, just wipe them from the face of the earth. Um, we're keeping Fugan up here, we're keeping Ma Xiu here and I am actually going to replace um, soldiers. I have no idea uh, what Gong Sun Zan's uh, troops are. Oh, he has White Horse Fellows. Couldn't be better. Mag bloody nificent. So we're gonna we're gonna bring him out. Now, as you can see, he's not particularly happy. We may have to throw a <coughs> uh, title his way. Um, but we're gonna bring him out. We're gonna bring him out with Tian Kai as well. Put the two of them together, the old the old buddies together, um, and they can hold this pass for us for now. They can hold the cell for us. Let's move on and uh, see what else is going on. <laughs> Yuan Shao must be in dire straits, given what we know of uh, Cao Cao's holds in his in Yuan Shao's territories. Um, he must be in real trouble. This is worrying. These, I thought Liu Zhang would be able to put up more of a fight. He really hasn't, um, and I'm not in a position to send an army down to help. It's just too far. For me to be interested in really ah uh, good everyone's back but it is something that we can if he eats too much of Liu Zhang's lands then we can certainly send an army down and uh, take some ground um yep decisive victory take it nicely done in we go a treasure one of your generals sends a runner from the new settlement, reportedly carrying a valuable consignment. He is immediately brought before your throne, kneeling to present you with a lavishly decorated chest with a broken lock. You open it to reveal a most valuable item within, a treasure among treasures. What treasure is this? It's, oh, Jesus. Hardly. Right, <clears throat> we're beelining for the old fiery arrows. Um, he barely has anything left. Yeah, this is all Tsar territory. Okay. No problem. How's everyone feeling up here? Uh, they're all right, actually. You chaps. Hmm. Now that would be cool. No question. Here. Starting to get ourselves some serious uh, love from the population. Something we might need to do there. First of all, what I was going to say was, you've done a magnificent job, but I need you to pop back, and then we're going to raise, where is our man? Here he is, Gong Sun Zan, um, into this territory here, I'm going to drop you there, we do not need these people, um, I think, I don't think we need either of them. And I'm not sold on them either, given how much they're going to cost me. Um, so we're going to lose all of them. What I am going to do is I'm going to give you some Tiang. And... Ooh. You've got the fellows. Like, they're the best of the best. So, yeah, I'll we'll give, you, give you them... Um, and then, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Nice balance of people who can hit really hard and shoot, and people who can just hit really hard. Um, don't really need to upgrade that straight away if we've got money that can be spent elsewhere. I don't think we have money that needs to be spent elsewhere. In, sit, happy. Right, you're good here. Everyone else is fine elsewhere. <clears throat> Let's see what's 
Military access with Jiang Xiu. Um, you're not really able to sell that though, though are you? Create vassal, sorry. No, nobody's interested. Off to cooperate, of course. He wants to vassal independence. No, no one is remotely interested. Five turns left of that. Uh, one more turn left of that. We're not selling to you. Liu Bei. We're at war with you. How disappointing. Um, you're running out. So next turn, we've got lots that we can do here on the old food front. Hell of a lot. Oh, Pei Shan. How much can we sell to you? Okay. Let's see this. It's not a huge amount, actually, but we'll do it. All these guys, they don't have a huge amount then, do they? Eh, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We will <clears throat> save the cash just in case I can't get such good deals next turn. Um, but we do, next turn, we do have to do some food diplomacy. See if we can use some with Sal Sal to buy some territory. It all depends on how much food he actually has. He sometimes has lots and sometimes has bugger all. And I can't quite work out why. He must be losing some significant territories every now and again. Of course, that yellow turban there, if they besiege Chengdu, we're going to take a massive hit to our trade as well. Honor above all. Honor shall be uh, should be practiced always, not only during the kind of epic battles that bring fame and recognition. This administrator shows true honor by chasing thieves who stole from an elderly woman, beating the culprits and returning the goods before soothing the woman's distress with kind words. Nice chap. Um. Nope. <clears throat> Nobody I'm particularly interested in. I think I'm your friends. Praise gain, Masio is fiery. Uh, Jinjuan. Well. Well. That'll bring Adamant Resolve. That'll bring Poison Volley. We want the Poison Volley. Poison Volley will be fun. We do want to upgrade this as well. So. That's big money. Minus 8% corruption is something we want to build up to as well. <clears throat> we do need to go down this central territory here too but i think primarily we focus on cash um more than anything else that's what we need all right don't need a skill tree reset i'm all right with him uh random ancillary it is what do we get this time marshall g now that that's that's all right that's all right now, <clears throat> we need to sort this out first. <sighs> well, you have lots of food anyway, so it doesn't matter. Gong and Gong. Off of food. Two. Regular payments. Um, that's piss all. You have some cash. So really, he's got to tick up above 600 for this to be worth it. Which he is. Oh. Ah, fine. Take the cash. Jiang Xiu. Jiang Xiu. Don't remember you being able to give us anything, but. Eh, uh, yeah, no. We're not going to get anything from you. Uh. Liu Biao, rich and very poor. That's what we like to see. Oh man, 6.2, 1.9. That's not good at all. Still. Um, okay, we'll do that. Liu Zhang has food. Shishin. Okay. So, we are going to struggle to sell our food right at this moment in time. No biggie. 
No biggie, we can we can still survive with what we've got for now. Um don't wanna upgrade that. Don't wanna upgrade that. Handing is fine, shorefang is fine. Go pass Taiyuan. That's right. Taiyuan, we'll we'll up this. And you You know the drill. Keep going. And we can reach it as well. It says a period victory. This could be quite hard for us, actually. Let's do it. I think this is Galgan's last settlement, too. So, if we take it, he'll be gone. Then it's Yuan Shi. Then we look to Yuan Shi. <clears throat> Yuan Shi is always quite weak. He has, like, the game has sort of neglected him because he wasn't. Like, he he, he, he was a decent commander, he was brave, and, and all the rest, but he just wasn't at the forefront of the Cao Yuan conflict, right? Um, he came, he acted as like a peacemaker between the brothers when he could, but when that failed, he didn't, you know. He tried. Like, we'll put it that way. He tried. Sometimes he succeeded, sometimes he didn't. But his his primary area of control was way up in the north. And um, so he wasn't directly involved. And it was more Yuan Tan, Yuan uh, Shang, who had the big problems. So the game quite rightly makes them unique. And uh, not Yuan Shi. And I would like to see everyone unique, you know, um, because that would be cool. But I understand why they didn't with him. Right, that'll do. So, what are we doing? We are saying this needs to come down. And we are saying you gentlemen are going to advance up here. You gentlemen are going to... You know what? You can advance over there as well. You can come up this way. Alright. And we hope that we're more accurate than we were when we were sieging the cities with our trebuchet. Okay. <clears throat> um, wow. Surprised that was a miss. It seemed to hit everywhere around it, but not it itself. Fair enough. Right, you gentlemen will come and take this territory. Um, yeah, you're going to come right there. Because that's where we're actually going to push. We're just having him there to spread out. That's a hit. Magnificent. Right, hit this one now. Bam, bam. Nicely done. That's going up. Then we want to smash this. We can move our archers up. When we move our archers up, we can just rain arrows in. They have nothing to answer our archers. I wonder if anybody would be up for a fight. Out of range. Potentially, he might be up for a fight. Potentially. It's a shame about the rain. Every time we siege, we seem to be in the rain. Well, every time since we've got firebombing trebuchets, we've been in the rain at least. That's a hit. Let's have a couple more of those. I thought he was talking about my trebuchet. It sort of is. Miserably inaccurate, this trebuchet. Come on. See? Missed. Again. All right. Rock up this way. See if anyone wants to, to have a scrap. Bang! That's the hit. Nicely done. Right, throw them in here now. <clears throat> All right. You are going to position yourself right there. Right there and make a nuisance of yourself. You're going to position yourself right there and you're going to make a nuisance of yourself. You're going to come right up behind them. There we go. Um, right. Now that they've been shot, we don't need loose formation anymore. It's just in case. You can rock up here. Oh, he wants to fight. Let's do this. Let's do this. Then we're going to have Pungda behind the lines. That could be fun. Where is the man? Bang! I wonder what happens if a rock hits one of the duelists. I don't know if that's possible. 
probably not something we want to necessarily try, but I'm slightly interested nonetheless. Bang, bang. There we go. <clears throat> All right. You lads are going to position yourself right here. And then you two are going to come right here. If we can't charge the cavalry in whilst they have uh, so much anti-cav. Have you dealt with him yet? That will be a slightly scary duel. You know, you've got flaming walls of fire everywhere. You're in the enemy's camp. Like, this is Pungda showing he is an absolute monster. Ooh. That landed right on him, but it didn't hurt. So there we go. Now we know. You can't hurt your officers in a duel with flaming balls of fire. Go on, get on your pony. Get on your pony. Hurry up. I need you to smash this Shajal, who has tenacity of steel. And therefore, is a problem. You're coming up here too as well now. <coughs> Arrows. Rain in. Do your stuff. Just stand there, lads. Just stand there. All you gotta do. I think you chaps can advance. Good on ya. You and you can advance up here. Are you struggling again? He seems to be absolutely mauling you. <laughs> well, that was easy. Alright, I'm going to just hold your ground. Let the archers kill everyone they can. Then we'll make the next round of advances. So, yep. Arrows can fall. There's no point in me wasting any troops. Even though this is the last fight of this sort of uh, situation. Go on, you lads can advance up here. You boys can come right up behind. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. <coughs> Rain the arrows in. Alright. Pungda. Spinny. You. Shouty. And pingy. There we go. Boom. Yeah, they are not gonna like this. <laughs> He's just slaughtering them. We are just slaughtering them. And now our uh, reinforcements have arrived. Um, quite like you back here just to deal with him. Uh, you as well, back here just to deal with him. Lads, in you charge, in you charge. Let's get that dealt with. One, two, three, four. Right, you lot. Move a little bit closer and begin bombardment of the next group whilst we push through here. You, spinny thing. Crack his bloody skull in. Bang! Come on. There we go. <clears throat> He's out of the picture again. Whether he comes back or not doesn't really matter. Got this nice fight going on here. We're killing all the unarmored G militia um, in massive quantities, which will allow us uh, to get cavalry in eventually <clears throat> when we when we have a gap. Right. They're moving lots of people up here, but that's fine. These guys can just hold for ages. I don't mind. That's not where I'm making my push. My push is here. Spinny thing. And shouty thing. There we go. Arrows are absolutely piling in. They're beginning to run. Again. Um. Alright, lads. <laughs> We've definitely got that. Arrows now coming in the back here. They're starting to drop. I think you can rock up here. Come up to, to show your support. And you two can come up too. 
for the second like reinforcing archers basically um you lads can advance you and you take position behind them in you go smash them kill them right you boys are going to be here you boys taking up the rear there we go they are folding sod it get in there just slam into them now cut them down cut them down raw make them wobble cut them down lads advance come here there we go forward and you boys is that burnt one hopes it's burnt forward march right charge 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 go 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 break forward 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 <clears throat> nicely done in you go get forward get forward get forward get forward up you come too all right lads up you come we're going to take this position hold you're in take this ground there we go there we go what are you chung okay your chung your spear guard you're crazy Ah, that's not a good one. There we go. Back over this way. <clears throat> Keep killing them. Keep killing them. Right, you lot. Go forward. Up top. You two. Up you go. One, two, three, four. Up you come. Archers here. Just in case anybody gets close enough. There we have it. Surely. <sighs> nice. Don't know why that was a close victory. That seemed pretty damn straightforward to me. Archers absolutely threw in the arrows. And then there was a lot of shouting. And Pungda and Matung basically won it for us without us having to do much killing. <laughs> nice shot. Jaw. Vigilant, cautious, relentless. Have a military axe. <clears throat> well. Well. One eyed. Vigilant, cautious. Unemployee. I can work with that. Galgan is out of the game. We've got ourselves a military gen as well. So, what we need to do now is have a look at our people. So, finally. We're going to give you this so that you've got a little bit more fight in you. Um, now, we've got Matt here who has a weapon. You do not. Here. Have that. That'll at least give you something to work with. All right. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I think we can up this as well then. Uh, we've got a little bit of spare cash. What do we get for the big one? 16 public order, right? Nothing special. And there's nothing else that needs anything. Now they're four turns away. Just you, yeah? You want this? Go on, you can have it. <clears throat> Let's move on. Now. We do need to start to concern ourselves with the fact that we have so many enemies um around china and sort of start to diplomatically narrow them down to uh give us a focus it's like they're running out of steam in a weird way that that invasion they've taken the Namman territory and they haven't really pushed further understandably i guess if they're traditionalists 
Okay. Vassalized. Tribes united. In the south, there are rumors that a leader has risen among the tribes there, one who has united them all under a single banner. Whether they are a threat to the Han and the people of China is yet undecided. Perhaps we should send emissaries to judge the worth of this new burgeoning nation. No, they hate our guts. Uh, we're at war with them. Nobody there. <clears throat> okay. Nobody we need particularly. Right. That just leaves us having a look at... We don't know who all... Who, who owns that territory there. We do know he's there and he hates us. So he owns it. Right. Right. We're going to go to war. We're going to go to war. Which means there's no time to change the troops out for more Chang. So they'll have to live with what they've got. Uh, income from all sources would be quite nice school actually we don't have a school um that could be quite good we may need to raise an army over here just to head off any rebellions and the like um but not right now not right now here we still want that upgraded wait there we go there we go. So Wu Wei, you make commerce. You have quite high corruption. If we were to whack this in here, that would deal with corruption issues. However, this would deal with happiness and provide us with more food. We will. Why are you guys so happy? Military crackdown, right? We will probably need this <clears throat> to prevent just the general unhappiness we've had coming from that region. Right. I'm going to save. Am I going to save cash? No, I'm not. No, I need save cash. Otherwise, we can't raise the army there. We got Shaja though. Um, I was going to raise him, but no. Here, can you come? Sit there. These chaps can be switched for them. Don't have enough money to do it for another one though. Do I? No, no, I do not. Still, they can be there, and then we can give him some. Uh, you know what? 144, where are they? These boys here, 149. Nah, you're all a little bit expensive for him. So we'll sit there with them and we'll move on. He'll be there just in case there's a rebellion. Basically to act as administrator because we can't hire an administrator yet. We're not we're not in a position to uh, recruit more administrators. I know that's worrying. <clears throat> oh. That's really going to upset the kingdom away. But there's a massive army on our doorstep coming down. We're going to accept that. That stops. Because you just saw Zhuge Liang's army sailing there. That stopped that from happening. But it puts a threat with the kingdom away against us. <sighs> okay. I need to sort some deal with uh, Cao Cao. Just something. That's going to hurt my trade. We knew that was coming. Right, we got peace. Okay. Steed to rival the ages. Another. Okay. Buildings. All of those are done. Yong Yu is ready. And Siri's gained a black stallion. Well... There you go. <clears throat> You're riding with the main army. You should have it. Now, we do... <sighs> Peace for you and Shao, I think. would. Shui, non-aggression pack. We can't really get anything from that. Nothing there. So, Tosal. 
two turns. Sixteen turn towards minus nine. Um. All right, they both hate each other too much. Pretty damn silly areas. I've got one of these. Um. I'm gonna give it to you. Hopefully, that's going to keep everything going. Hopefully. But I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough from me today. In the next episode, we're going to go for Yuan Shi. Um, smash him, smash him out of Yanmen at least. So that we've got the Black Mountains. Um, it's a shame he managed to settle all this territory because I would like to have a connection between my lands that that is the biggest problem we face is that we've basically got two separate areas that we need to defend rather than one continuing piece but it is what it is we can live with it um we need to maintain good relations with uh Tata. minus seven we got to build that up we got to build that up uh signing peace with the enemies is the thing that's done it but i got no real choice that big army there we got no one who can defend i don't want to lose these gains after so much hard work in taking it i'm gonna spend a little bit of cash there on that as well but i think ladies and gentlemen we'll continue this in the next one Bye bye